In this video, I am going to show you how to set up TrueNAS. TrueNAS is a free application. This application will help us to convert the PC or VM as a NAS storage. Here I am using the VMware for installing the TrueNAS application. This application you can directly install on PC as well as. For this purpose, we require at least minimum two hard drive. If you are having multiple hard drive, we can use that one. Here I am using two hard drive. One hard drive we required for installing the TrueNAS application. Another drive we will use for storage purpose. First we need to download the TrueNAS application from TrueNAS website. In the description I have attached the download location. You can use for downloading the TrueNAS. Once after you can boot the TrueNAS on USB flash drive. Then you can boot with it on the PC. Here I am using the VMware application for booting the TrueNAS application. TrueNAS ISO file for installing the application. Open the VMware workstation. Then first we need to create the virtual machine. We can click new virtual machine or we can go to file new virtual machine. Find the ISO file of TrueNAS. Then press the next button. Enter the virtual machine name and installation location. Then press the next button. Then select the storage capacity. For the installation of TrueNAS directly on the system, we required minimum 20 GB of space. Here I am using 20 GB. Then press the next button. Here we can customize the hardware. I am just changing the settings for the customization. For the memory, I am using 2 GB. And the processor, I am just increasing to 4. Then close the button. Then finish. Now we can see the installation option. If you are pressing 1, it will start to install. I just press 1. Now the TrueNAS installer is loading. Here we need to use install or upgrade. Then press OK button. The TrueNAS is recommending 8 GB of RAM. Here we are selected only 2 GB of RAM. So we can continue with the installation. If we are pressing yes. Then select the hard drive using paste burn. Then press the OK button. We will get the warning for loss of data in the partition. We need to confirm the erase all the data. We need to press yes and then enter the root password. Don't forget the root password. This is the password we are using to access the TrueNAS application. Enter the password and confirm the same password again. Then press the OK button. Then select the option of booting. Here I am using BIOS boot. If your PC is supporting UEFI boot option, you can use that one. In my PC, it is supporting BIOS boot. I press enter. Now the installation has been started. Once after completing the TrueNAS installation, we will get a message for succeeded. Then remove the USB storage. Then press the OK button. It will redirect to the console setup window. Here we need to select reboot the system. Then press the OK button. Or we can use the Ctrl Alt to delete button for restarting the PC. Now it is rebooted. Don't press any key. It will directly reboot from the application. Now the TrueNAS is loading. Many location I am using the fast forwarding for avoiding the lagging. Now the installation has been finished. Default to web browser IP will be 192.168.136.133. Once after setting the IP address in physical machine, we can access the TrueNAS through the web browser. Now we enter the IP of TrueNAS. Now we are able to see the here it will ask the username and password. The username is by default root. The password will be the password which we entered while on the installation. Now we have logged in the system. For configuring the storage we required one more hard drive. If we are checking the storage view we are unable to see the hard drive because we required extra one more hard drive for allocating the storage. We need to shut down the system for adding the hard drive. Here I am shutting down the system. Here I am adding one more virtual hard drive with 10 GB of data. Then power on the system. Now we can log in with the TrueNAS. We can create storage pool with new hard drive. 
we need to enter the storage pool name then select the show disk with non unique serial numbers then only we will get the hard drive in that location then select the hard drive then create the storage pool here we have created the storage pool now we can allocate the windows share for that purpose we can select smb then select the storage pool then put the name then allow the access as per the rules we require here i am using the default one and sub applying and submitting now we have created test sharing second we need to create a user for accessing the storage enter the details of the user once after creating we can try to access the storage we created double backslash ip address then enter it will ask a username and password we need to use the username and password which we created last time i am entering the details of username now we can see the test sharing inside the test sharing we can see the username if you want to create the file in that location we can create if you want to delete the file we can delete because we already given the permission for that this permission will be manageable thank you for watching this video if you like the video please press the like button share and subscribe